found another new doctor. And I was booked in to have that fabulous procedure that half of you here perhaps a little more love having and the other half of you, particularly my sons and brothers, love hearing every detail about <laughs> the pap smear. <laughs> so I was all booked in, the day arrived, I'm sitting in the waiting room as we girls do with no expression on our faces. For pap smear day is nonchalant. <laughs> there is no expression. There's nothing going on here. <laughs> you have got no idea what's going to happen to my fan while. <laughs> I'm sitting here, I'm just sitting in the doctor's surgery and there's nothing going on. So I'm sitting in there and this time the nurse came in and said, um, Gemma, and so I stood up and she took me into the doctor's rooms. And I sat down, he chatted to me for one or two minutes. And then he said, could you remove all of your clothing from the waist down, climb up onto the bed, put your, put, bend your knees and tuck your heels firmly into your bottom. <laughs> all of this without buying me a drink <laughs> or even asking my staff. So, eager to please, I quickly jumped up and then I thought, if I go too quickly, will it make me look too eager? <laughs> Is there a standard for taking time to take all of the lower half of your clothes off and climb on a bed and bend your knees and put your heels to your bottom? And then I thought, if I go too slow, does it look like... The strippers arrived. <laughs> so, all clothes off, job done, up on the bed, in the perfect position, and that's when I noticed he took an enormous amount of time to get out of his chair because he was wearing calipers. And he, had, he walked both legs the calipers. Calipers, the metal constraints used to keep your legs straight, normally only seen in a 50s midday movie. So he walked his way to the bed. He then looked at me between my legs. I smiled. I want him to, you feel sorry for him as well. Just me. I smiled. He then pulled one leg back. He then pulled the other leg back. Bent his arms and fell onto the table and into my family. With this, I started to tremble. Not just a little bit, I shook and I trembled. So much so that my left knee was belting him in the ear. So then, he put, he then stood up, moved, moved the legs back, stood up, put his hand on my knee to calm me and he asked me about my job, <laughs> my family, all through my legs. <laughs> so I calmed down enough, he then again, both hands, left leg back, right leg back, fell into. This happened three times, I tried everything. It was like somebody had a remote control that had my body on fast, mad, crazy ass, shaking. So finally, I summoned everything and calmed right down. And then, after that, I was pretty, pretty impressed. He got the beautiful duckbill gadget out that we all love. And it had time to warm up, though, I think, because it wasn't nearly as cold as it was on other occasions. So, so, 